All right, so like I said, we're going to be looking at the game versus Florida College. Hold on one second. So yeah, we're going to be looking at the game versus Florida College. I will be stopping the video at points. Um, I've looked at it a couple of times. <clears throat> uh, oops. Okay, so everybody can see the screen. It's not choppy. It's all clear. Yes? Okay. That sounded like somebody just joined the chat. Who do I have to accept? Abraham. Done. Cool. Make sure your cameras are on, please, so we know you're paying attention. Because that's what we're here for. You're here to get better, not to be fucking around, and pardon my French, but wasting my time and your time. So, Okay, so anyways, uh, just before we actually start with the video, please remember that, you know, all this is feedback for you guys, right? We're not, I'm not here to, I mean... I'm here to rip on you, and so is Coach Peloto. But it's a criticism to help you guys get better. It's not because we want you to not be successful. Like at the end of the day, you know, I've been working with a lot of you guys for a long time, and I want you to be successful. So please understand, like, the context of why we're, we're doing this. And um, we're just going to look at, like, little details that we can improve on. Okay? So give them back your mind. So here's kickoff. We play forward, but if we want to play on the kickoff forward, we should probably line three people up on one side and aim for that side. So, like Derek made a comment yesterday, don't play me the ball. Well, you should still be on the same side as the side we're going to play the ball. So, right now, we had, in this situation, we had Caden, we had Ethan, and we had Derek. And then Esteban plays it back. And what we could even do, for example, is Rashad could play it. So, let's go back five seconds. All right, so five seconds back. So, from the kickoff, as an example, if we know we want to play it long... Maybe Esteban, Caden, Derek, and Ethan come to this side. And then Rashad takes it and plays to Caleb or leaves it and he plays it to Christian. And Christian hits it as an example. Uh, but we want to be able to play the ball forward quickly. And, you know, we're just kind of hitting the ball long to nobody. I mean, it's not necessarily to nobody. But, you know, the whole point of playing the first ball long is to put the other team under pressure and try and win the second ball. So they win the second ball there because it's, you know, right to them and they're able to break out. Caleb does a good job of delaying. Long ball forward, and this is what killed us pretty much the entire time against this team, was this uh, long ball, which we're going to look at later, especially from the goal that they scored. So they have a throw in. Uh, to me, we look very slow in the organizational standpoint. Obviously, they have to go get a new ball. Okay, and then I hope John's paying attention to this because we're going to talk about him in about three seconds, probably ten seconds. All right, so remember, wingers, so... Ethan's not here, but Derek, you need to go back and help your fullback on throw-ins. Jackson clears. All right, so right here, John, you're going to come all the way across. John is paying attention, Johan, yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I can actually draw on this, which I will do. So John is literally right here. This is John. Here's Christian. That is very stupid when that happens. Here's Christian, that's our other center back, and here's Jackson, our fullback in this moment. All right, John, you're going to run all the way across. Don't do that, just communicate. All right, so look, you're going to run all the way across, so here the ball goes, you're following the guy. All right, so you've already come all the way across, and you followed him. I like that you're extremely aggressive, which is great, but in this situation, that's not your responsibility because if they're able to get the ball out, then we have a, I mean, Caleb covered you, but then now there's nobody in Caleb's spot. So all you would need to do here is just pass them on. Be like, hey, Christian, or whoever you're, whoever you're passing them on to. So Caden, Rashad, Abraham, whoever it is. Hey, Christian, guy coming. Hey, Jackson or Marcelo, guy coming. And then they take responsibility for them. Please. Guys, sometimes the player will have to be passed on to two different or three different positions. It'll go from Christian, then it'll go to Marcelo, and then it'll go to uh, an extreme. Uh, let's say, um, let's say that was I'm in a corner there. Who was that? Was that Derek in the corner? Derek? That's Ethan. Oh. It's Ethan. Derek's on the other Ethan. side. Okay, so let's say. You see him, you pick him up, and he keeps going. And then you call Marcelo. Marcelo's going to be like, I got one. So you 
you call on Ethan. Ethan, pick him up. And that's it. Yep. So you don't have to leave your position as well. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Or, depending how far he goes, if John can cover you, that's only a, that's only a position next door, and we have enough players. Now, this is like, you can see the whole game. You guys are watching. You can see the whole game. It's not like you got to, okay, let me think about this. You know what I'm saying? This is not something that will take you a long time to think about. It. You can see the play going. Just like John has to pass on the player. Hey, Christian, pick him up. Yeah, as soon as you see him and you're coming up to him, he keeps going. Hey, Ethan, pick him up. Marcelo's got one. Pick him up. And Ethan is just like, circling and he doesn't have anybody look for the next player that doesn't have anybody if not you guys gotta figure that out because once you leave your position like kyle's saying that's a that's an open hole right there mm -hmm. and we can, you know easy get screwed we can, we can end up giving up a goal or opening up a hole for them to receive the ball in that pocket so yep. just yep. fyi okay it doesn't mean like if John calls on you, Christian, that means you're going to have to follow the guy way out. No, you got to be smart, too. As he was smart, like, hey, okay, I can go only go so much in this box, I have to pass him on to Christian now. Christian, pick him up. Okay, you can only go so much, too, Christian, depending how the play is going, you know what I mean? And you pass him on as well. Yep. Yeah, it's all zone-based, so just pass him on to your zone. There you go, yep. So you can see here, they're going to have a throw-in. Ball's thrown in the middle of the box. Christian heads out. Okay. Not a bad header. It's fine. It went out of bounds. Okay, so like in a situation like this, I know we're going to stop a lot here, right? It's a throw-in for them again. You, uh, you just saw him throw it decently into the box, so we need to be prepared for that ball. We're doing it okay right now. He's going to throw it again. Caden's going to go. I think we foul right here. Yep, he calls a foul. Right, so that, that's just a mistake from Caden. I think we don't need to really review that. I think Caden, I know he's out of the call, but I think most people playing that center midfield role. So Rashad, Caleb, Zuninga... I know Ethan's not here. Abraham, you know, that's a pretty simple mistake. Don't make that mistake. So they get a free kick here, 25 yards out, which ended up being nothing, thankfully. So hopefully we can just skip past this. But, you know, make sure Caden's not here either. He messed up the wall. Make sure you pay attention to your goalkeeper. That's pretty basic. So let's just skip past this because it's not really relevant. Okay, great. So now this is where it becomes important, right? So I'm going to talk about Royal Palms at the same time because we... You know, who can remind me, what were the points of the numbers, the one, twos, and threes that we call on goal kicks or when Mateo, Mateus, Mateus makes a save? What's the point of it? Because they're remembering how we played from last time. Okay, cool. So if we, if, if we look at the Royal Palm game, right, they immediately went set up. They let the center backs have the ball. So they let John and Christian have it. They weren't really pressing, but they did set a line, a uh, decent height. Same thing here with Florida College, right? So... Do we have to always use a number? No, we don't, especially if they're not pressing. But you got to understand, right? So, like, especially from last season, we recorded a lot of games and that were live streaming and whatnot. So that means opponents can now watch us. So this is stuff that you guys need to be thinking about because, again, the higher level that you go, so if you get to go to college or you go to professional, you're going to be watching, I mean, Jesus, hours of game film of opponents and even yourselves. So you're going to be studying what they're doing, and you're going to say, okay, these are their movements, and that's basically what happened to us. So just keep that in mind. So that's why we have these numbers, so that way we can do changes on the fly to hopefully mess up their opponent's defensive system. So you can see our Florida College isn't really pressing. You know, we can use a number. We don't have to use a number, but I think it's good to always change things up to give a different perspective because it, it can impact their defensive setup, and that's kind of the key with it. So you can see we have an overload with Jackson, except his touch should not go backwards. It should probably be forward. So Christian's in possession. I don't think you need to play back to the goalie, Christian, just because there's nobody pressuring you. And again, you guys can see. So, like, I'm going to pause it right here, right? So we've just made, like, three or four passes, now five, and we have attracted zero pressure. So sometimes it's okay to do this. Like, you can see that they've set a line of confrontation, which is, you know, a bit, I guess basically you would say right outside the 18-yard box. That's where they're going to start pressing. And that doesn't mean like the first pass we have to set it up where we invite the press. It doesn't have to be that. But at some point, we do need to invite the press. Otherwise, we're just passing the ball sideways and backwards. So Johan plays here, goes to Derek. We're going to cut it across. 
And again, so you can see they're not really actively pressing. Now we're just swinging the ball side to side. And again, if you think about Royal Palms from last night, it was the same thing. They let us build the ball out to a certain point. And then they started to get active. Look, so you can see right here. Now, again, about 25 yards out, they're starting to press. Now they're going a little bit higher. But the guy's by himself. They're too delayed off, which means we can start building up. Okay, now hold on. That's a decent ball. It's offside, but let's look at that real quick. This is a great example. So pause. Okay, so there's a couple of things here, right? So we're building up with a, we called three, right? So you got Jackson. You guys can see, you can see my, my thing, right? My cursor? Yeah. Okay, so you got Jackson here. He's in a fine position. Caleb has the ball here, fine position. Rashad and Caden, and then you got, this is Esteban. Yeah, this is Esteban. Okay, so Rashad, for my opinion, should be, let me put a little circle here for you, Rashad. I think you should be right here. Okay, I think you're too far over. Like if we were to draw an imaginary line like down the middle of the field. So if I were to use this arrow, it's not going to be perfect. Don't, you know, don't panic. But like here's the line, right? This is right through the middle of the field. Give or take. Again, it's not perfect, but I think you get the idea. Right now, Rashad, you can hear me, yes? Yes, I can. I can. Okay. So I think because we're building up in a box, you can see the box. You got Jackson, Caleb. Here's Caden. Here's you. I think you just wait in this pocket right here. And, you know, somebody that you should look at. I know you don't play 10 normally a lot, but somebody you should look at who does this very, very well would be Martin Odegaard. He is always in little pockets of space. And if you sit right here, it, it's going to pull, I think, one of these two defenders out to cover you, which is going to give Jackson more time. Or if they don't, you're just in a space. You just sit in this pocket to find it. Okay, because I think you're too central. That, that should be Esteban in that gap right there, in my opinion. Okay, so now let's look at this ball from Caleb. Let's see if he's actually offside or not. Okay, ball's not hit. He's definitely going to be offside. And that's borderline already. Ball's now hit. He's definitely offside. Okay, so cool. So can anybody tell me how we fix this problem from Ethan? It's not, it's not terribly offside, but clearly you can see in this freeze frame, I mean, he's a good, what do you say, coach, three, two yards offside? I'm going to be honest with you. Um, can you back it up a little bit right when he was on a line with him? Okay, so Caleb picks up the ball. Ethan makes a decent movement. You can see he's calling for it. And then the ball is going to be hit right here in a second. So he's probably okay. borderline that, here. That, that was a little, that's just a little more than I wanted. You, you were almost there. Can you back just a little bit? Okay, I'll tell you when to stop. Stop now. Okay, guys, look at this. Okay. Besides Rashad being where your coach asked you to be, Rashad, you're not terribly off from where he just pointed where you should be, which would have been better. Because as they started shifting, I'm sure that pocket between those two players back there on this side, closest to you, Rashad, right there in the middle, he could have given you the ball, and then you given it to him. Without him being offside, he could have just pushed out more. Now, let me speak about him being offside. That's Ethan, correct? Yes, sir. I don't think it was a bad move to give him the ball from there. Okay, you guys shift, they shift, okay? Rashad is not terribly, like, off of his position. He's a little bit over, like you mentioned. But look, as far as Ethan, this is what I can say. The positioning is not horrible, but as far as Ethan, this goes for any extreme and, and the number nines, okay, Esteban? Dude, you guys should not look look at this this is clearly the ball i'll be honest with you it should be given towards the middle and he should run diagonally in not off to the corner and him being right there he should have not been off he should have been smarter not only asking for the ball and watching his line so personally that's a goal for me right there okay the pass is not horrible I just think, like, when you guys are sending balls like that, okay, if we're on the same page here, just because he's at the corner 
have his ass run to the ball where it's easier for him to shoot at the goal, not having to go, go get it at the corner. You know, set him up. That's what you guys are there for. Not only midfielders, but, you know, sixes as well. You know what I'm saying? But I personally think um, this play was pretty decent. Um, the only thing I can say, I have to agree with Coach, uh, Rashad could have been a little more over this way, but as far as Ethan, dude, no way you should have been offside on that. Dude, you have so much time. Look at their player. They're completely forgotten of Ethan. Look at that. So that goes for any extreme or even a nine. If you guys watch your line, guys, we could be scoring so many goals. And for you guys who are going to be sending them the ball, if you see that he can beat a player by the way he's positioning, don't send it to the corners. Put it in the middle where he'll have to run. Of course, put it where... The goalie won't reach it before he gets there, too. But look, have his ass run. That's what he's there for. I'm talking about the extremes, which is, you know, um, whether that be um, Derek or Ethan. You know what I'm so let me let me add something here, Coach. So look, check this out, guys. There's a couple of things that I want to hit with this. So I think his point is good. The ball is a decent ball. It could be maybe better. But let's look at three things. So I circled Esteban. And this is really important for you guys. Derek, and then I have Ethan here, right? So we already talked about Rashad. Now let's look at these three. So the back three of Florida College is very high, right? They have a back three. This may be a back four if you count him. He's probably, but he's way out of position. Wait. So if you look at this, you got Derek here, Esteban here, and, and Ethan here. So I, I like what Ethan's doing. So I put arrows here for you guys so you can see what he can do. And then I'm going to touch on Esteban and Derek. So if he runs inside first, and then as the pass comes, he then cuts and breaks, which is what this arrow represents, mm -hmm. he's, he's gone. Instead, he just ran straight, because you can see here, the line's very high, right? So if you run inside, as the ball from Caleb is played, and then you dash, you're gone. You're never offside. Now, Derek, flip side for you. Esteban, I'm going to look at you two real quick. So Derek, again, you guys, both of you, need to do a better job recognizing the opposition line. So Derek, if I'm you, I'm already going to be doing the same thing here. Oops, it's not supposed to be a circle, it's supposed to be a line. You're going to be there at the end right here. And you're waiting right here to do the same thing. You make a run inside, three or four steps, and then burst like that. Boom, and you go behind. Esteban, same thing. They're a very high line. You don't need to check in. Why do you need to, Why in this situation, and this is for you Esteban, so I hope you're listening, why would you not need to check in when we have three in this situation? The space is in behind. Okay, well, that, but look, we have a box. We don't need a fifth guy. You got two pivots, which was Caleb and Jackson. You have Rashad and Caden as the, the two tens, right? Obviously, Rashad's not in the best spot. And then to your point, yeah, the line's very high. If you stay up here, you occupy them. Okay, now, of course, if we don't have a box, then you can drop in. That's not a problem. We just happen to have a box in this moment. I don't think you need to make that movement. Okay, Derek, are there any questions? I'm going to assume no. Derek? Any questions, Derek? Is Derek on by any chance? I know he's in the chat. Can you hear me, Derek? Let's see. To Derek. Let's go back in the chat. Derek's camera's off. See, I knew he wasn't paying attention. I knew somebody was going to pull it. Look. He took you back, though. So let's get him back in. Who is the okay, by the way? Who's okay? Because I want you guys to have your damn camera on, bro. Okay, Derek's back. Derek, are there any questions about what was just discussed? You understood that, right? Yeah, I understood. Okay, who is Mr. Okay here? I think that's Caleb's computer. Ah. Yeah, that's mine. Got it. I got it. Cool. Just, just checking. No problem. All right. So, anyways, we. Why did we just get froze? Okay. So again, look. You can see Ethan's clearly offside. They have a back three. It's really a back four. Um, Ethan makes a good idea. Just isn't executed well, and it went a little far wide. But that's okay. So idea Caleb's good. Just execution slightly off. That's okay. That's part of the business. So look at the offside. 
and they play short. Okay, now this is where we really need to improve a lot. Okay, so offside, they get a, they get let, the ball here. Let, let me say something real quick, guys. Do you remember what I just said before about giving him ball, giving him the ball all the way? He has to run all the way to that fucking pocket, that corner, right? Once again, I said Caleb could have done a way better job, dude. He's fuck. They forgot about his ass. All you gotta do is look at the line. And the linesman is right behind him. He would have saw that. He would have stayed in line. He would have beat. And they all had their backs. They weren't turned sideways or anything. Yep. They're all worried about Derek, Esteban, and where the ball was going. Those three were lost. So who, who sent them the ball? First of all, who was it? Uh, it was Caleb. Uh, it was Caleb. Okay, Caleb. You do that a lot, and I love it, bro. You're always looking. If you see the opportunity, keep doing what you're doing, Caleb. But look, set them up for success because you're setting up all of you for success. And what I mean by that, it's a goal. The idea is not bad, but bro, even if you don't have to put the ball in the middle, put it between the middle and between all the way in that pocket. Put it right there, you know, between the half moon and the corner of that big box, he'll get there before the goalie, and he'll be able to shoot it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. I, I, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's not a bad idea. I don't want you guys to think I'm getting on you for that. The idea, it was amazing. Now, Ethan, can you hear us? Is Ethan on he here? He is not us? here. Nope, not here. Okay, I wish he was here, because all you guys could see the video as he went two, three, four times already. Dude, that goes for Derek and Esteban now. Dude, if you see that, do not fucking scream. Lift up your hand. They will see you. You saw, and we were telling him from the outside, me and Kyle, don't scream, lift up your hand. Caleb saw his hand and served him the ball. So you two sixes and the 10, which he's probably not on here, which is uh, Caden, you guys need to do the same. If Chris or John has the opportunity to send the ball like that, you see that your guy is completely open, do it. Once again, Ethan is not here. Esteban and Derek, look for that line because it's just not Ethan who was offside a couple of times. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Dude, we could be scoring goals. You know what I'm saying? We could be scoring. Those are, we should not lose those opportunities. Guys, you lose opportunities like that, it's rare you'll get another one. So fucking take advantage of it. Put the ball a little closer to the goal. Have his ass run. That's why we do exercises with you guys, not only resistance, but speed. And we're trying to get that, you know, integrated within practice. So when you guys have a run like that, it's not going to kill you. And you're able to outrun these fucking defensive, defensive You know what I'm saying? Yep. All right, so let's look at the next point. I think we, we got to this. So, all right, so this is where we need to improve a lot from a defensive standpoint is where is our line? And I asked the question very shortly after this or at this point, I don't remember specifically, but like we need to know when we're playing. Like before the game, we should have two lines, right? So where is our first line of confrontation? Okay, where is this? If we're getting tired, where's our second line? So like right now, they have a kick, um, a free kick. They play it short right here. And I, I literally told Peloton this morning, I'm like, dude, where's our line? What are we doing? Like, nobody knows. So, like, here's Esteban now going up. And, like, again, you guys need to make a decision. We can have that conversation before the game. Okay, where are we setting our line? So, like, let me go back. Five seconds. So, hold on, hold on, Kyle. Before you, okay, you went, okay. Mm -hmm, Stop right ahead. there, Kyle. Stop. Okay. What Coach is saying, let me just add one quick thing, guys. Okay, he lost the fucking ball. Or he was offside. Is that what it was, right? He was offside. Same play. Right? Okay, that's right. That's the play where he's offside. Um, what Coach Kyle is saying is everybody just sit back there. If he's offside, the ball is up there. They need to fucking play the ball from where he's offside. Why is everybody still back there? Are we worrying about their forwards getting the ball? Now, I've spoken this before. Their so, forwards? Can they just kick the ball long off the offside, so why would we step up? Because then they could play a long ball off and we'll just get caught up. Like, if we, if, if the ball is at a standstill and then we step up, it, it's, 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 like, it's like a free kick. They'll just play the ball long. 
<laughs> they can. Good question. No, 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 Kyle, that's a good question. Now, look, basically what I'm saying is, is this, okay? Look where the ball is, right? For them to play the ball long, they will have to have somebody open, correct? Right? Um, DZ said after the free kick, like as soon as the free kick happened, like as soon as they're about to take it, he says to step up. And I'm saying, oh, are we just going to, like, they'll just play the ball over on this. Okay. Okay, basically, okay, this is what I believe. This is what Kyle's saying. Kyle, correct me if I'm wrong. I understood what Caleb meant. He's right. You got to be careful with that. But look, if we had stepped up, you know, from the ball being stopped, okay, offside, we got to play the ball from there. If we had stepped up, who's going to have time to? Take the ball, lift up their head, take a few seconds, look around, then send the ball. How are they going to have time for that if we are pressuring them? Does that make sense as well? Yeah. That's the only thing I'm concerned about because, dude, look at that right there with Kyle played. Look at the lines he put. Look how much space and time they have to prepare the midfield. Look at their defensive end. We have no forwards in midfield stepping up. That's what we're trying to, I believe that's what Kyle okay. trying to say. So let, let that's me, that's what I'm trying to say. Let, let me add value to this, right? So like, in this situation, maybe you can't high press because from the kick, yeah, you're right. Maybe they can play the ball long. That's fine. But that's not even necessarily what I'm referring to. We don't know, like, I don't know. Coach Pelosi doesn't know. Where is our line? So like, I drew three lines here. We have this line here where Esteban's at. Okay. We have this line here. And I just want to make sure we're on the same page with this because this is very important. So the, like, I, I'm using the blue line as reference. The blue line is where we set our line. So let's use this middle one. Once they cross that, that blue line, the middle one right here, that's our time to actively engage and start pressing. And it doesn't have to be this blue line. I'm just giving the example. So if we set up and Esteban's higher and he's here and then uh, Ethan's inside and then Derek's inside, we know that the second they bring the ball, so they carry the ball, so let's use a different color. And let's use pink. So the, they bring the ball. The pink is the ball. That's an arrow. Jesus Christ. It's a circle. Okay. So they bring the ball right here. Right, just as the example. Here's the ball. Then we know, boom, we're in position. We're pressing that. So I just want to make sure this is very clear. Like when I talk about the line of confrontation, where do we set up so we can start setting our traps? So again, using your example of the free kick, they can play a long ball. Yeah, so forget, forget that situation. But like, look, right now, so they're going to have the ball here. They play it short. Okay, he's going to play it back again. Right? So Esteban's shifting, Derek's walking. Right? Shifting slowly. We don't know where our line is. Where are we setting the engagement to, to pressure them? Does it, does it make sense? Because basically the whole point of the line of engagement is to say, okay, like I said, once they get to this point, all of us are actively jumping and pressing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Does everybody understand with this? Just shake your head if you don't want to, you know. Just well, just say yes. Just say yes if you understand. It's or okay. Just say yes. So, yeah. So, so guys, yeah. look. Let me just add one thing as well, Kyle. It looks like, right? We were in attack mode, and automatically, all you guys can see, you transition to defending mode. But there's one more transition, which is pressing mode. Those are the three transitions: attacking. If they take the ball and they're attacking right away, then you transition to defending. But, bro, they're not doing anything. They just have the ball back there. So we shouldn't transition to attacking or fucking defending. We should transition to pressing. And that's where that line comes in where Coach is talking about. Yep. We spoke about this before we came on. We're like, dude, we were looking at these videos. And we're like, yeah, that, that, that needs to be addressed. You know, because like you mentioned earlier, the line of confrontation, there's, you guys saw it, you just showed it to you, there's absolutely nothing. Okay, so like, look, so the ball goes here. The ball goes to this player here. Ethan looks like he's going to go. Okay, so let's assume that that's our line, right? So they just broke this line right here. So let's use an imaginary line just to make sure, again, we understand. It's going to be pink. Okay, so they just broke the line. The line's broken. Once they break this line with the ball, that means we, all of us, Derek, John, Johan, Christian, Caden, Rashad, Caleb, whoever else I'm forgetting, we're all jumping. So here comes Ethan, but look. Look at where he's at. Yep. This is Caden. He needs to be here now. Derek needs to be inside covering this guy. 
So when we're pressing. Stop pre for a second. Stop for a second. Hold on, coach. Hold on, hold on. When we're pressing, so Ethan's going to pressure this ball. Yes, Esteban's doing a decent job coming to slide. Caden needs to leave this dude and come over. Derek needs to come inside 10 more yards. Caleb needs to come. We're, we're, we're giving them the whole other side of the field because our play is you're not getting out. But obviously in this situation, Ethan's going, and there's this huge gap right here that's going to kill us. Go ahead, go ahead, coach. Guys, I've said this a couple times already to some of you players, not all of you, but sometimes the play is on the other side of the field and you guys are sticking guys in the middle of the field or the up or the side where the ball is not. And I'm like, where the fuck is the shifting? Why didn't they step up? Why didn't they press? And what coach just showed you is exactly what I mentioned to some of you players already. It, it, seriously, guys, it's almost like you're lost in a game. Suddenly they got the ball and they, they shift the ball to the other side. It takes you literally, literally, like almost 45 seconds to transition something that only takes seven seconds to do and that seven seconds involves you running transitioning means you're gonna have to get off your fucking ass and run from one side of the field to the other one position to the other yep so let's and see what happens but you guys see these getting, you and see this is where a lot of the times we're getting hurt why we're giving them time to think, to take the ball, to turn around, to decide where they're going to put the ball, to decide where they're going to give the ball. Dude, these guys would, and I mean these guys, any fucking club we're playing against, when they get the ball, they shouldn't have no more than three to four seconds. When we're pressing. Yeah, when we're pressing, yeah. All right, so look, any, let's just watch this. So you guys see the, the, the arrows, right? I can't show everybody because not everybody's here, but I think that hits the point. So Derek needs to be 10 yards this way. Katie needs to be on this guy's shoulder. Caleb and Rashad need to be higher. Why? We're pressing. That means we're going for the ball. They broke our line and we're going. Let's see. So right here, they're going to play inside. Look, and Caden finally comes. Jackson's able to win it, thank God. We play it back, okay. Pressure's coming. John plays Mateos. Mateos plays Christian. Christian has no idea what's behind him. So I'm going to play it out of Jackson. So Christian, make sure you scan before you get that ball, please. Jackson takes long to bring it down. Caden tries to turn into somebody. That's not a good move. And we get a foul. Okay, great. So now we have a foul. Okay, so pause right there. Look at John. So John, let's go back five seconds. Free kick. Your position already. You come over towards Christian. Don't. Just stay here. Just stay right here. All right, Christian has no pressure. You don't need to be that position. Even if, even if Christian did have pressure, that should be Mateos in that area picking up that ball instead of you. All right, you're, you're just you're conceding space for us. You're, you're taking space away. So just stay in your position. So now he's got to play here. And you're going to try and play here. Okay, so again, we've hit two passes with no line, no pressure on the ball. Johan slowly dribbling. Okay, so Johan, great. Let's look at this. Because there's no way we should give this ball away. Johan, you can hear me, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So, right here, right? If I'm you in this situation and you're just slowly dribbling this ball, turn around, play it back to John. Okay, because you just took like five touches before you released the ball and you just gave it away to Derek. Or it went out of bounds by Derek. So, like in this situation, you can see they're all here. Just change direction, play it back. All right, so Derek's not in a bad spot. It's just you guys disconnected and whatever. But again, we took so many touches to get the ball here. So now, this is important. We give the ball away. Okay, so again, Rashad should immediately transition to come higher. Ethan needs to sprint his ass 15 yards this way. Caden needs to close. Jackson needs to sprint. I don't even see Christian. Christian should be sprinting here. John should be probably getting a little bit higher. Right? Anytime we have a throw in for the opponent, we need to transition to try and press that ball immediately. There, there's no reason that they have a throw in and we're not immediately in position to try and press. That, just, that would just be a silly thing to do because a throw in is almost always a 50 50 ball. So let's see. So they get a throw in, right? So we're slowly coming back. They're going to throw back. Cool. So let's see. We step up a little bit. Great. We creep. Okay, cool. They play it here. Where's our line? I don't think we know. Ethan's going. So Caden's in a better position. Rashad, okay. Jackson, okay. 
Um, John and Christian, this guy's kind of in a free space. Mm -hmm. Derek's slowly coming across. All right, they play inside right here. This should be our ball. It is cool. Esteban wins it. Okay, Esteban does okay. I would just, Esteban, if I'm you in that position right there and you got a guy on your back, so right here. I'm not a forward, but this is what I would do. I would throw my body in front of him right here because you, you don't have a lot of room left. You're going to try and draw a foul. So I would literally, you have one half step in front of this guy. I'm just throwing my body in front of him. Bam, let him hit me. I fall over, free kick. At least it should be a free kick if you do it correctly. Yep. Right, so then right there he pushes you. I don't think they call a foul. I think it goes out for throw-in. So it's still our ball, thankfully. But you could have earned a foul instead. So a shot here. Bounce. Great. Okay. Caden. Okay. Lost ball. Fine. Okay. So they play it back. So again, what is our line? Esteban stepping up. So pause right here. Okay. So again, this is why I keep telling you guys we need to know what our line is. Because we should have a point. Again, we, we can't draw a line on the field. But we could have an imaginary line that we know. Anytime they have the ball in the back, we set it here. Again, the example. Once they bring the ball to this line, this imaginary line, we are now actively pressing the whole team. Okay, but we don't know what that is. So we need to work on this at practice to know where we're going to set our pressing triggers. So Esteban's going. Caden's stepping up finally. They're going to hit a long ball here. Nope. Okay, but I do want to look at one thing right here because that is very important. This is a problem. Right here. So, everybody can see this freeze frame, right? You can see the guy with possession. Guys? Yeah. Okay, great. So, we talked about this before. We worked on it a little bit on Friday's practice. Yeah, because we played Sunday. Is there pressure on the ball? Do we, let me rephrase that. Do we have pressure on the ball? Like, not really. No would be the answer. There's no pressure. I mean, Esteban's slowly come. I mean, slowly, he's just not there, right? So this guy has a free range of pass. If you can see here, we have a couple of threats against us, right? We have a threat here. They have three guys. They have a threat here. And they have a threat here. So because this guy has no pressure on the ball, he has another probably two seconds before Esteban's to him. What should our defenders and defensive midfielders do? Like, Caleb's a bit higher, so what should Rashad... Johan, John, Christian, Jackson do. Just drop. Because if this guy decides to hit the ball 50 yards, and I talked to them about this earlier, he decides to hit one like this, we're fucked. All right? So we talked about this on Friday, and we looked at it with uh, at, the, at the scrimmage, right? But he's lucky he doesn't hit this ball. But look, 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 he... He ends up playing an inside ball to this guy, which is fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's better than what he was going to hit. Because, look, Johan's already beat. This guy's got to step on Christian and John because John doesn't know where he is. Jackson, we don't even know where he is. There's Jackson. The ball goes in here. John wins it. Caleb gets it. Never mind. Okay, Derek gets it. Cool. Does that make sense, though? Do we understand that premise? Very, very important, the whole line dropping. Yeah. Okay, so John, Johan... Because, Johan, that's for you, especially you and John. Yes, sir. Johan, good, yes? Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to say it one more time to make sure we're all on the same page. If we do not have pressure on the ball, so they have a guy that's wide open, he took a big touch like that, that means he's looking to play a forward pass. It could be a line breaker on the ground, it could be a ball over the top. Either way, we don't want to take the risk, just drop five yards. All right, so now we try and play out. Derek has it. Referee calls a foul. Cool, we get a foul, free kick. Okay, again, I think we need to quick, more quickly transition to the attacking shape, whatever we're going to be in. I happen to call, I think, three. And again, like I, I think even in build-up like this, when we're, we're hopefully in the kill phase, which this would be a kill phase in my opinion, you know, obviously we're trying to sustain pressure. I think we can play in a number. I don't think it's a problem. If we're not going to play a number and... We're going to play a long ball like this. This should not be Johan. This should be Ethan or whoever we're asking to take the free kick. It's a decent ball, Johan. I can't lie. It's a good ball. Ethan should do better. It's a good effort. Okay, great. So let's look here. So again, same thing. I think you guys did it. I can't see the camera, right? But the keeper gets it. Everybody just in a situation like this, right? We almost score. They're looking to counter. What should everybody do immediately for us? 
just go back 15 yards. Concede the space in front of us and just drop. So he's going to hit it. Boom, I think you guys did a decent job. There's just, look, if Christian loses that, there's no cover. So John, Jackson, Marcelo, Johan, whoever, we need to make sure we're covering the guy that's pressing the ball. Good steal by Caden. That's a mistake on their part. Looks like it's a decent ball, a little heavy, but Derek's able to get there. Take him 1v1. Good delay. Okay, decent try. Ethan, header, should, or should head. I don't know what that was. Take the foul, Ethan. Good, take the foul, stop the transition. Good. And that's actually a good foul because that's almost never a yellow card. Anybody know why that's probably never a yellow card or very infrequently yellow card? That, that... Uh, Rashad didn't press. No, has nothing to do with Rashad. There's people behind the ball. Oh. Um, what did you say, Caleb? There's people behind the ball. Yeah, they, didn't, they don't have a line break, right? So that, that's the best way to phrase it to you. So let's go back five more seconds. Hopefully this will get what I'm looking for. Yeah, so right here. So there's no line break, right? I mean, I guess you could say Ethan's broken. That's our first line. If this was Rashad causing this foul, that would be a yellow card. So nine times out of ten, just depending on your referee, this will not be a yellow card or should at a high level, this will never be a yellow card because there's no line break. If this guy got past Rashad and then Rashad fouled him, that would be a yellow card. So what Ethan did here is perfectly fine. I have no issue with it. Good. So I think we actually score from this moment in a second. So again, what's our line of confrontation? We don't know. Ethan's dropping. Everybody's dropping. Thank God we win the ball right here because we're completely disorganized. We play the through ball. SOL makes the run in the space. Great job. Nice little flick. But again, we're lucky in the sense of like goal's excellent. Like good recovery. Good job. Cool. But pre that is no good. And this is what we're going to have to work on very hard at practice. So they take a free kick. I don't know what this dude's doing. We're completely disorganized. We have no idea what we're doing defensively. They just play a long ball. Somehow this dude chests it right to Caden. So that's a Christmas gift. Ethan makes a half movement forward. Never mind, he doesn't, he waits. And then it's a through ball. So, it, I mean, it's a good counter attack. Don't get me wrong, but that was a Christmas gift of a goal in the terms of the guy chesting the ball to, to Caden. That should probably never happen very much. Okay, so I do want to slowly get forward because we're getting to 8 o'clock. I don't want to keep you guys forever. I mean, I do, but... Okay, so look. First ball, they get off the kickoff. They play it long. Okay, win the first ball. Hopefully better than that, Johan. Good second ball win. And then while we're waiting for this, you know, Caleb, you were so concerned. I'm not picking on you. I'm just I'm talking about it because you brought it up. How good Royal Palms were. You, you, we were okay in the game yesterday, correct? What? what the? I said, we talked before because you were, you were overly concerned about Royal Palms and their level. I think, I think we showed yesterday that we can, we can beat them and probably anybody in the league, right? No, no, it's just, what's the thing? Florida City, they were bad, and I said that they weren't bad last year. That's what, that's what I say. I'm not concerned about anything. No, but I'm just saying, like, I think we showed that they won the league last year, the whole thing. I'm saying I think we can beat them and anybody in the league. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, cool. All right, so right here. So we're swinging the ball fine. Now that we're back into it, Christian's going to receive. Okay, I can't see Jackson. Nobody can see Jackson. We have our two pivots. They're kind of being cover shadowed. It's going to go into Rashad. Rashad, I think, knows this is not a good decision here. I think you're trying to play Christian back, but I don't think Christian decided to go. And even if he did, I would not recommend that unless it's an obvious line break, which it could be, but he doesn't take off. So I think Rashad knows next time to do what? Play it back. Take a touch, play it back. Play it to probably John, preferably, in this situation. That's fine. So we were able to recover. Christian dr just drop. Okay, now he's going back. We're in decent shape. Everybody's kind of recovered. Cool. Caden, good steal. There we go. Second ball we lost. That's okay. Get our shape back. Like in this situation, right? So we got our shape back. You can see we got our line of four. They play it back. That's fine. No problem with that. Good job. So now they're going to play it here. What's our line? I don't think anybody knows. They played across. That is a negative ball. We should be taking yardage. They play it back again. We should be taking yardage. You can see Esteban calling for it. So right here, let's look at this. Esteban, let's look at your thing real quick because I want to fix this. Okay, so you, you call for them to go higher, which is good. So right here, Esteban, if you want to start pressing, your job in this moment 
I'll draw it for you to help you out, would be to go like this here and then close him here. So you go up so he cannot play it across or necessarily back and you force this guy to dribble forward. So he has to, well, he could pass too, but he has to either play forward or he has to dribble forward. By doing this, and I don't know where Ethan's going, by the way, but by doing this, you're telling our team, hey, I'm squeezing him this way and he has to go this way. Does that make sense? So, so you're making the play predictable. So you come here and you, you squeeze this guy, which is the guy to the left. That's not your job. That was Caleb's job or whoever it was. It probably should be Caden, to be honest, but that's fine. So Caleb, good job. Ball goes to Derek. Derek's going to take the 1v1. Get to the line. Use your left foot and cross. I think you'll be fine. Throw in. Hopefully their goal is going to come up shortly. Actually, I don't think it's shortly. I think it's a little bit down the way. So we get a throw in or is it a corner kick? Corner kick. Okay, great. <clears throat> so let's see Ethan's going to put a ball in the box we're actually pretty decent at winning corners right now so that's actually a good thing Christian wins it I think goal kick yep so again right here where do we want to do do we want to press do we want to set a line and if we set a line I mean everywhere we're setting a line do we is our line right off the kickoff or the goal kick I'm sorry or where is our line I don't think we know so this week tomorrow at practice we're going to be looking at that what is our line so hopefully we can do, you know, closer to an 11 v 11 scrimmage where we can be working on the line of confrontation. Where are we going to be setting it? Are we doing it from the press or from like the goal kick? We can press right off the goal kick, no problem. Or do we wait for them to build the ball up a little bit and cross the zone and then we go? And these are things that we're going to look at. So Esteban does a good job there. That was great, Esteban. You squeezed him because then it makes the play predictable. Caden's got to be more aggressive. Good recovery, Esteban, to help your teammate out. Caden's going to go. Ethan, you need to get your ass up. Because you're a winger, not a defender. Decent ball across. Derek, you should be taking the risk. We've talked about this multiple times, so let's look at it on video since it's right here. Right, so wingers, forwards, anybody that wants to be a goal getter, right? You see the cross coming, Derek. Look at your position here. Right, so Esteban's attacking it, which is good. Derek, you're stepping out, which doesn't make any sense. Either you should be already making a run because you can tell Caden's going to be playing the ball. You should be making a run, my opinion, already at the back post here, ghosting in behind this guy, or running in front of him like this and then here. But what you do in these moments is not productive and it's not the sign of a goal scorer. You need to be making those commitments and attacking the ball. All right, so again, that guy makes a huge fuck up, but if you attack the ball, you could have scored a goal. So you're going to try and play him one-on-one, -on -one, just recycle. Johan's going to cross. The keeper comes and collects. Doesn't collect, actually. Again, look. Look at this. One ball could have killed us. Thank God for Mateos being out of the box. So good for him. Good ball. But that's why I tell you guys, you have to drop when there's no pressure on the ball because one ball nearly killed us, and the goal they score, they do kill us. And we're going to look at that shortly, hopefully. So here we go. John in possession. Christian, get your ass across. You're being lazy as hell. Because if John messes up, we have no coverage. John, you need to play that ball in front of him. Okay. Who's this go? Esteban? I don't think that's offside based on what we just saw. But let's look again. Let's go back five more seconds. So let's see here. Let's look at this play. So Christian's looking to hit it. I think, because I think, Esteban, you switched with Derek in this moment. Is that correct? That's what it looks like. So if I'm you, Esteban, I like how you step back. That was good. I don't think you're actually offside, to be honest. Definitely not offside. But anyways, he calls it offside. Um, I would start a little bit wider and then make the run inside how we looked at Ethan earlier. Right? So you could start out here and then you run in and then boom, break. Just like that. So again, you're definitely not offside. That's okay. They play short. What is our line? We don't know. Esteban, you got to be coming across because Ethan's coming. So if Ethan's coming, you got to go and get across. They shift the ball. So again, Esteban, if you want to start pressing, I need you to cut the ball. So let's go back five seconds. All right, so and Norbay's not here. I wish he was. But um, in this situation, right, so if you want to start pressing... You need to split the two center backs. 
So your job, Esteban, in this situation is to never win the ball. Your job is to be here. And again, that's going to force this dude, so I'm going to change the color. Let's make it red. He's got to carry the ball this way then. And you're forcing him to play forward and hopefully force an error. So I don't know if you were looking to press in this moment, but you step up to him versus cutting the pass. Because now he can just play backwards and we have to reset. So if you, again, if, you, if you're going to play nine or when you play nine, this goes for anybody that's in nine. Like right now, you're doing a better job. You're screening. So now, he, look, he has to go forward. You see that, Esteban? And you're not even pressing him. But he has to go forward because you've now cut the backwards pass and the side pass. That is very, very important. So that, that is good. You can see right there on two separate plays, you did the same thing. So it's, or two separate things. So again, you, the balls come this way, Esteban. Come across. Derek, get your ass across. Christian, don't do that. So, like, that's a mistake, Christian. That could easily kill us. All right, let's look at this. So you, I can't really see. Ethan's coming out. Okay, so you're stepping. So, Christian, <clears throat> is there pressure on the ball? No. Don't step. And this is the same thing John was doing yesterday. John, when there, cuando no, nosotros no tengamos presión de la pelota, tú no puedes... Uh, Avanzar? There you go. Si entiende, John. Si, si, si. Just... No necesita, no, no tiene presión, no necesita avanzar. Look, so again, the picture is very clear, right? This guy has no pressure on the ball. Oh, for fuck's sake. No pressure on the ball, nothing. He's wide open. He's looking, the ball's already out of his feet. He's looking to hit a ball. Do not step. He's trying, I mean, he doesn't, thank God, but he's looking for it, you can tell. And in fact, he does clip it. So Christian, you can see, look, look, you can see this guy right here. They're nine. He's looking to make yeah. the run in the space behind yeah. you. So this is what kills us, and this is where their goal came from. So Christian gets beat. John at least goes centrally. John, Johan needs to come inside more. So again, just little mistakes like that will kill us at a higher level. Fly with Mateos, which is not a good pass by Christian, but that's okay. Jackson needs to sprint to that damn ball. That's a bad ball from Mateos for sure, but not good enough from Jackson in that moment. So we have the goal, goal keeper save. Cool. He's going to throw out to Johan. Johan, if you got nothing, just recycle, but this is okay. You drive forward. That's actually decent. And we get a throw in. So good. Now, if you don't think you can continue, Johan, you can just cut and play backwards. But I like what you did. It's good. Okay, so Jackson, Ethan on the same line. We need to open up. Jackson finally does. Caleb's going to hit it. Decent ball. Jackson needs a little bit more power on it. Ethan's got a sprint. Okay, so Chris, you just drop. Okay, but, but there is a small problem. I need to look at you three again. So pause, damn thing. Okay, so look. So John, Christian, Johan, Rashad does a decent job. Caleb. I'm going to look at you three first. So the three center backs or three defensive players in this position. So John, you need to be closer. And then I'm sure Johan can already guess what I'm going to say next. You need to be cl You should already be here, John. Johan, you should be sprinting your ass back here in John's position. You guys should be that tight. Because again, if you look at this situation right now, if Christian gets beat right here, if this ball goes to this guy and Christian gets beat, this dude is now one-on-one -on -one against Mateos. Whereas if John is already here, and Johan, you're already recovering. At least if Christian gets beat, we have, jo uh, we have John and potentially Johan to cover. So we got to have that little bit more effort and intensity to get back on defense. Okay, so Ethan does a good recovery, except for that. Good tackle, Rashad. Okay, good. Caden going to drive into somebody who doesn't even look, so don't do that. I hope all midfielders pay attention. Don't run forward when you have no idea what's around you. <sighs> Christian, that was a terrible decision. Just slam it, in my opinion. Okay, they play back. Let's step up. We don't step up. John and Christian, you can see, are still holding. They play wide here. No problem. They play down the line. It goes into the, the winger. Rashad Jackson can beat too easy. Good recovery by Caden. They break the line. And a through ball. Okay, let's go back a couple of seconds. Okay, so right here. This is where the first problem happens. The ball's played forward, plays in here, Ethan gets beat, okay, 
He turns. Jackson's not in here. So Jackson, either you would either go as the ball's traveling. So Marcelo, for you, you either go as the ball's traveling or you don't go and you just hold your position because now Jackson steps late. Look, that's a problem. Don't make, I don't think you should make that decision because, look, you just get beat so easily in a situation like that. Boom, he drives past both of you and gone. And now he's running the back line. So, again, Christian... Just be careful. I would go back another five yards because you can see there's a threat. And this is this is the key detail here. Why should you go back? There's a threat. The worst thing for you as a center back or a defender in general is this ball, which he plays, but it's not very... God damn, that's so frustrating. Which is this ball behind you. Same thing for John. That is the worst ball where you guys now have to turn around and run. That's the worst ball for you. So if you guys just drop, so you just drop to the 18, which is what we call like our final line or our final stand, where then you have to engage at that point, more than likely this dude's not scoring from 25 yards out. I, I, he's probably not good enough on an average player, right? So, that, you know, he's not Erling Holland. He's not going to, you know, so, but you can see that ball goes behind you. John does a good job recovering. Christian, you recover okay. John's aggressive, which is great. We're able to get the ball out. But again, you know, against a team that's more efficient and effective, those little details will kill us. And we need to be more organized defensively. All right, let's see. I want to find the goal that they score because it's coming up shortly. I think it's the next break. <clears throat> so, Derek, if you're going to go, bro, you need to make sure that you win that ball. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guy runs in the thing. Out of bounds, no problem, fine. Okay, we have a break here. What is this, water break? No, I don't know what break this is. Okay, let's fast forward slightly. Oh, it's just a goal kick, that's what it is, got it. Okay, so we've got into one. Ethan's a little too far over. Ethan should be in this gap here. Okay, again, patience. I don't think you need to play Mateos. You can just play Rashad. Okay, to John, fine. Rashad, just stay in that gap between the three. Okay, good ball into Caden. Good ball into Johan. Johan back to Caden. Great. Good feet, Caden. Good ball into Ethan. Good idea, Ethan. That's okay. You know, I, I don't have much to add to that. It's decent. Okay, but I think let's just get to the goal. I think this is where I think this is the goal here. Let me just verify this is the goal. Sure. But wait, please. I think they score from right here. I could be wrong, but let's see. Might be the next one. But it's definitely coming up. So Rashad plays it back. Cool. John plays Johan. Derek, good. Johan makes a good run forward. Great. I would just say keep going, Johan. Don't stop. Okay. Christian. I think Marcelo's in at this point. That's a mistake. Foul. Okay, so it's a foul, so it's not this one. I think it's this one. I think it's right here they score. Okay, so we'll just look at this and then we'll, we'll get off the call, guys, unless you guys want to look at more stuff. But I think we've been on long enough. We've been on for an hour. So they're going to have a drop ball. And I think this is where they get their goal from. So they're going to play it back here. Okay, so again, no pressure on the ball. Now we have pressure. Now we can keep our line up. And this, I'm going to pause it right there because this is really important. Here we go. This is where they score. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to make sure you guys understand this. If there's no pressure on the ball, the back line. So right now it's Marcelo, Christian, John, Johan. If there's no pressure, you cannot step. So Marcelo, do you understand? Christian, do you understand? Yeah, John, in TND. Yes, sir. Johan, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If we have pressure on the ball and or we're actively pressing, then you guys need, not maybe, you need to step up. We take that risk. Okay, but look, there, I'm going to go back. Let's just watch it. We're going to watch again. Let me go back, though. Let me just play it all the way through so we can see a, uh, a collective errors. So right here, they play it here. Everybody can see this. He's going to dribble. This should be. A, this is a squeeze. He should not get out. He somehow plays the ball down the line. He should not get out. I don't know how he beats Johan. 
Caleb's going to try and catch him. I would take the foul, uh, Caleb, but it's okay. John, you slide. You miss. We're fucking screwed right here. Midfield runner, goal. Okay. Cool. So let's look at this. There's like five errors in a row. Hold on. Okay. So right here. They play back to the keeper. Norbay's going up the press. Norbay should not go because there's nobody helping him. So he's just doing that scenario running. That's the first mistake. Second mistake here. So Derek, right here, this dude is now cut and going backwards, correct? Yeah. What should you do with Norbay? Press. Double, not just press. Double. This could be, I should not get out. Okay, this is a, a huge, these are called pressing cues. This is a very, very good pressing cue. This dude is now turned. He's literally got nothing except the goalie. We should be all over this dude. He's able to play down the line. Johan, I don't know what happens. You don't have to tell me. I guess he let it dummy through his legs. Is that what he did? That's what it looks like. And then you get beat. So, Johan, what should you do right here when this guy does that to go past you? I said, what should you do, Johan? This guy just rolled the ball past you. What should you do right here? Foul him. Foul him. Take the yellow card. At this point, it's a breakaway. Right, it's fine. Take the yellow card. No problem. Okay, we don't. He goes right past you. Caleb tries to cover. Caleb, same thing. Try and foul him. Um, I mean, honestly, we're not in a bad situation because it's three, really, versus five. So you might not need to foul. Um, John, if you're going to go, bro, same thing. You got to win this ball. There's no way right here we lose this ball. Once once this happens, this is when you know you're fucked. And I saw this happen. I told Pelota on the side. I said, we're going to be in trouble right here. Okay, so they go right past. Boom. Rashad. Yeah, Rashad's dropping, which is okay. Midfield runner's wide open. So, Rashad, you got to make a decision. Do you go for the ball? Which, you know, you probably should in this moment. Again, Christian asked me the question, what should we do in this situation? Um, this is what I would call emergency defending. This is like you do anything to make sure the ball does not does not end up in the back of your net. So emergency defending, I mean, obviously you don't want to do something stupid and get a red card, right? But, you know, this is like, okay, at all costs, try and stop the goal. So Rashad, probably you should be trying to go out and close him. And then, you know, again, at this moment, it's 4v3. They have the advantage, and you can see what happens very clearly. It's a good ball in the box, and it's just a, a free open thing, and it's a goal. The only thing I would say for Marcelo in this situation, because Rashad, I think you should go. Christian, you take him. Um, so Marcelo, in this situation here, don't worry about him. Only worry about him. Why? Why would we want this? As more of a threat in the middle. Yep. It's much harder for him, the, the crosser, to hit the far ball than this ball. So, again, this is emergency defending. So... You have to take the most probable cause of a goal. Both situations could lead to a goal, but this guy that's highlighted in the middle is the better, the better probability of a goal. Okay. Okay, does everybody understand that from a defensive standpoint? I know not everybody's here, but Zuninga, sometimes you play defense. Again, we're in emergency defending. So, uh, Kyle. Yeah. What's that? Well, like I said, I think in this moment, I think I. Yeah. I would personally say, I would personally say, in this moment here, when John loses this okay. ball, it's got to be Rashad going. Okay. Stop. Stop right, right here. Stop right here. Right here. Stop. Okay. Guys, have you noticed that the guy's going down the road? He left two of our guys back. If we're just accompanying him and not going directly to him, he's still going to cross. So what am I trying to say? I asked them to bring the video back, okay? Now, there's, I personally saw as he brought the video back, there's a few things you could do. But like he said, it's an emergency defending, right? <laughs> if Chris stops accompanying that guy, goes directly to him, by the time Rashad gets to Chris's guy, it's going to be a little late, right? Because he's going to give him the ball. Correct? Yeah. 
Anderson. Okay. Now, I personally think Rashad, as soon as you you could you could you could tell that he's gonna get through the other two. You know, freaking uh, Marcelo and John, because of his speed. Some plays like this, you guys, miss, this is like common sense. You should know already. So basically, what I'm saying is, Rashad, you should not run parallel to him. You should run diagonally towards him and foul him if you have to. Okay. And that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because now let the video go. Let the video go. Yes, sir. Thank you. Look at that. You see, we just, you're still just accompanying him. The cross is still going to be made. Now, if you were to run diagonally, or if you run diagonally, you start to block his vision and his options. Yep. Because the guy who got the ball is the guy in the middle. Yep. Not the guy that, I believe that's Chris next to him, right? The first guy at the first post. Yep. Right, Chris? Yeah, that's Chris. And in the back, who's in the back? Marcelo, I think it is, right? It's Marcelo, yeah. Yeah. And again, like I don't think Christian and Marcelo, you're in a bad spot. I mean, again, this is no, literally no, emergency no, defending. Basically not, no. Yeah, you're, it's emergency defending. So like Caleb did a good job trying to get back. You know, he gave the effort. But again, like we had three mistakes. Norbe goes, Derek doesn't double. Johan gets rolled, doesn't foul. Caleb tries to catch, can't catch him. John slides, gets beat, and those little mistakes can't happen. So um, the the only thing again, Rashad, it's not picking on you, but just if you could go out next time, and again, it's emergency defending. Do what you can. No. Yeah. Try and go out and close. It has nothing to do with picking on him. No. We're just trying to show him, like, the options. Yep. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So is there any questions from anybody regarding this specific instance of what happened? No, I got it. So, yeah, I mean, it's just – it's closing the options. If you get beat, Johan, foul. It's okay to take the yellow card. I don't want you to take the yellow card, but – um, especially on a better transition. But, like, we had Caleb covering. He got beat. We had John, who should not lose that slide tackle. Um, and it just ended up costing us. But, you know, that's the business. So, we're, we're going to stop there, guys, unless anybody wants to look oh, at hold more. Hold on, Kyle. Yeah. Hold on, Kyle. Run that video a little bit back. One last thing. I just want to show them, okay? Please, sir. Right there. Let it play. I'm going to tell you when to stop. So right here, Norbay's going to press. Derek, you need to go. He's in your zone already. That's the fullback anyway, I believe. Johan, gets... stop the video. I'm ready. Stop it. Stop it right there. Okay. Behind that player that just received the ball, guys, you see the who are the three that's behind him? Sean, Johan, and Caleb. Very good. Now watch this. I see. You will never catch a kid. He's gone. Listen to what I'm about to say. The only one who might have an option is Rashad. So Rashad, diagonal run, okay? And yeah. all you three would, thank you, and all you three run diagonally, you're going to cross. Actually, Rashad is going to cross, and you're going to you're gonna do like an X. You three should be running towards the middle. Does that make sense? If you run towards the middle, the possibilities of you getting there about if not close to the same time this guy's going to cross, you'll get to that player who's going to hit her. Yeah. Think about that. It's possible. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, definitely possible. Yeah, we got you. We got you. You got it? Does it make sense? Because Rashad will cross, okay? As Christian is following with there, and then Kate will John and John just literally make that go straight to the penalty area. I'm telling you, if you guys just see that and take off like a bat out of heaven, you will get there on time. I'm telling you. Yep. Because he still has to do that drive. I don't know if you guys noticed, he went all the way to the line, all the way to the end. That should give you at least a little. If you're three, four steps behind, that's at least close enough. That's closer than what happened here. There was nobody there. You know what I'm saying? Left for, you know, to help Chris and him. Yeah. But I believe if you guys are chasing him, you know, it's a 
waste of time. Just make that cross. Rashad towards the player with the ball, and you up and and the other two or three right towards the middle to yep. cover, to cover him. You know what I'm saying? And yep. to help out in the defense. Yep. Anybody have any questions that we can review? We can stop there, guys. I think that's enough for the day. It's an hour and 15 minutes. No, I'm good. No. Cool. So cool, guys. We'll probably, because we don't have Scott Pine on Thursday. They have a high school event. We'll probably do another video probably of, I don't know, either St. Leo or um, Royal Palms. So we'll, we'll make a decision. And then, um, you know, we have practice tomorrow. We'll get back at it, and then we have a game against Atletico Orlando on Sunday at West Orange. And we have practice Friday, right? And we have practice Friday, yep. So we have practice t tomorrow, as you guys know. So guys, please, 